guys, so welcome back to my channel. At this time, magbabasa naman tayo the experience. Ayan, today is September 3, 2020. So, our topic for today is all about praise. Huh? The book entitled, from the book entitled, The Experience by Henry and Richard Blackaby. So let's read. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Psalms 34, 1 and ASB. It should not surprise us to read that David wanted to praise God his entire life. After all, it seems he was always writing psalms and singing praises to God. It is interesting, though, that David wrote the above words immediately after one of the most humiliating experiences of his life. As if he wasn't in enough danger, or danger already trying to stay one step ahead of his old nemesis, King Saul, David had just experienced a close call with another enemy, the Palestine king of Gath. The only way out was to feign insanity so his enemy would see no need to kill him. Talk about a low point. Here was a man destined to be king, ranting and slobbering all over himself. Did obeying God really require such a loss of dignity? It doesn't seem like the time to burst into songs of praise. Yet that's exactly what David did. He understood that God had again spared his life and protected him. He was so grateful for this that he wanted to praise God right away. Sometimes we completely miss something good that God has just done in our lives. We concentrate on the negatives of the situation rather than on the positive. For example, we're involved in a car accident and we're so worried about the damage that we fail to see the miracle that God brought us through safety, safely. At other times, we do see God's goodness, but we're too busy to praise him. David was a very busy man, yet he made it a habit to praise God always, no matter where he was or how he felt. That's not a bad habit for us to copy. Yun. May the Lord continue to bless upon our reading the book about the lesson from the life of David. Praise. Can you still praise God even you are in danger? Can you still praise the Lord even you have so many trials in life? Can you still praise God even in our circumstances today? Yes, if you have no God in your life, then you cannot praise Him. Even I myself cannot praise God if God is not in my heart. So yun, napa English tuloy ako. <laughs> yun yah, no? Sabi pa nga eh, kailangan pa ba natin na mawala ang ating, yun, nag nagtanong siya, kailangan pa ba mawala ang dignidad para siya ay magiging hari? Ayan, kailangan pa ba? But still, ano, 
kahit sa gaano ka man kabisi ngayon kapatid, kay bigan, nawa ay kopyahin mo yung ginagawa ni David na even though how busy you are right now, ano ba yung pinagkakabalahan mo? Nawa ay may panahon ka pa para i-praise ang ating Panginoon. Iyan. Bigyan natin siya ng panahon sa ating buhay. Okay? So, yun lang. And may the Lord bless us upon reading the book entitled Experience. It's all about the experience of David. We are le uh, learning about the life of David. This moment, let me pray for you. Let's pray. The Lord... Thank you, Father God, for this new time that we learn, Father God, to praise you even in, in times of circumstances like this, Lord. Thank you, Lord, because you are a good, good God. You are a great God. You are merciful, loving, and care, God. Thank you, Lord, na kahit na Panginoon, nandito kami ngayon sa pandemic na ito, nararanasan namin, but still nakikita namin at nararamdaman namin ang iyong pagmamahal sa bawat isa sa amin. At this time, Father God, thank you so much, Lord, for everything. And I entrust it all to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I'll pray. Amen. And amen. So yun, guys, kung first time niyong napanood ang video nito, don't forget to hit the like. Click the notification button and subscribe nyo din para updated kayo sa next video natin. Ayan. At kung napanood nyo ito sa FB, then it is free to share. Ayan. Walang bayad ng share. So yun lang. At, ayan, may sasakyan. Ayan. Maraming salamat sa inyong pakikinig and have a blessed day ahead.